Now, this little one is a number three. No name on it anywhere. Um, yeah, it's a really nice little plane. This one I'm keeping. I traded my Corsair for this one. Um, now, yeah, there's no engraving on the chip breaker that came with it, which I don't think is the original. Um, now, the issue here is this is a sheet metal frog. And because of that, it has these raised spots, which I'm probably going to grind them down flush. Uh, but the main issue is the other frame so I can get it in here. If you look at this, it's in the slot barely. It's all the way down. Um, yeah. The uh, lateral slips out of its slot. It's at the top of the slot. So A, it's a, a blade that's a little bit longer. And B, because of where chip breaker is set right now, it's short by about an eighth of an inch. And this is the wide slot one that I showed you the measurements on. This needs to come up to if I can catch the edge of the chip breaker. It needs to come up to three and three eighths to three and a half at the top end. Oops. <laughs> you can see that. I'd, I'd prefer the slot to be here from the end of the chip breaker. Um, that way it won't slip out like that. And this slot needs to be at least five inches because this slips out. And I don't know if you can see the rub marks there. Yeah. That's where the the lateral is landing. So a five and a half inch slot would be optimal for this. Um, it could also be that the blade has been sharpened so many times that it's lost a good half inch. That's scary. Um, people must be uh, trimming door edges with the hinges still installed. Uh, but other than that, that's the uh, None of the rest of this matters except for the oval, obviously, for the for the uh, lock lever. Um, and this needs to be three and a half inch. So, two and a uh, one and a half inch to the beginning of the slot to two inches, two and an eighth, and then uh, three and a half inches to the top of the lateral slot. The linear slot needs to go, needs to be five and a half inches on a new blade. Other than that, everything else on this thing works beautiful. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to stone the ever living crap out of the top of this, which means i got to drive that lovely pin out. I already did that on the Craftsman.